Good afternoon, pre-calculus class. This is Mr. Duranko here. We're going to move into Chapter 7. Hope you guys are all staying safe. And it's really quiet here on campus. I'm going to keep us moving forward with some videos. And I'll give you all that you need to be successful. We're going to go real slow here uh, since this is new for everybody. And uh, I'll give you real simple assignments based on very short videos that I make. And we should be able to move uh, right along through and cover all the topics that we need to for this pre-calculus class. So we're going to move into uh, Chapter 7, which is called Conic Sections. All of the curves that we're going to talk about, uh, starting with the parabola, can be formed by taking slices out of uh, these cones. And that's why the chapter is called Conic Sections. More on that later. Uh, let's first start, though, with a parabola. We can slice the cone such that uh, the shape that comes out of the slice is a parabola. And parabolas are not new to us. We've talked about parabolas already in the past. And so hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult for you. It turns out that uh, a parabola, now this isn't any way that we've thought about the parabola in the past, a parabola can be formed uh, by uh, plotting points that are equidistant from something called the focus and the directrix. Now, there's just like at the beginning of any ch chapter, some vocabulary we're going to need to get used to. Uh, we know the axis of symmetry of the parabola. This happens to be a sideways parabola. And uh, we know the vertex, right? These are two terms that we've seen before. Focus and directrix are new. Uh, a fo the focus and the directrix are two uh, things, the focus, a point, directrix, a line. And every point on this parabola is equidistant from the focus and the directrix. And so this distance is the same as this distance. And I can do that for every single point on this parabola. And that's why the focus and the directrix are so important, because they define the shape of the parabola. So if... Um, if we know that the distance between the focus and any point on the curve is the same as that same point on the curve, the distance from that same point on the curve to the directrix, we can use the distance equation and find an equation for the parabola. And uh, I'm not going to go through all of that for you, but the equation uh, looks like this. This is the standard form for a parabola that opens left and right. Uh, y minus k equals 4 times p x minus h. Now we know the y minus k and the x minus h part from uh, when we studied parab parabolas previously. The p here is the distance between the focus and the vertex, which is also going to be the same distance from um, the vertex to the directrix. And uh, I'm not going to give you any assignment uh, on this in this particular video. I am going to include uh, an attachment uh, to this assignment that will give you the standard form of the parabola for parabolas that open left and right. And this one's opening right. Uh, and that equation looks like this. And then I'll give you in the attachment uh, parabolas that open up and down. The equation is a little different than this. And uh, we'll talk about that sheet, that attachment, in the next video. And we'll do some examples that will help us to eventually graph a parabola if we know things like the location of the focus and the, the distance p and the location of the directrix. So stay tuned for the next video. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you in the second video. Bye-bye.